All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Today is, I believe, Tuesday, the 15th of November, 2022. Um, just going to give it about uh, two, three minutes to get things sorted. I just need to do uh, some adjustments to my watch list. And uh, I'll be with you in about two minutes. Too sad.
so <clears throat> let's uh, get things rolling. So what's happening uh, pre-market? Pre-market gappers, amongst the gappers, we have BEKA, uh, KE, uh, MNSO, excuse me, uh, FUTU, which I'm not going to be trading, AMC, slight gap up, DWAX, slight gap up, barely anything. Um, not much happening pre-market at this point, but we might see some uh, movers still early to call. Um, that's all I see. BK, BK is the only one. BK is the only one that's gapped up with a uh, decent percentage, basically. Yesterday, it did the same thing. Um, look at this level. Beautiful. Bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these levels are amazing. Um, yesterday, surprisingly, it actually held a similar, very similar price action. Low volume gaps up, and but still holds somehow, and then just runs for it, and then drifts, um, just phase down. Uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, the gain that it had pre-market was given back. I would say more than fifty percent of the gain. So don't know whether it's going to do the same thing. I, I anything could happen. I mean, very unusual price action. We'll just have to see. Level to watch is definitely the this fifteen thirty area right now. Um, that's what I'm going to keep an eye on that. So we'll see what happens around. If it starts to run towards that and starts to uh, somehow get rejected from there, then uh, we might, I might even consider high of day um, rejections. Um, so BEK is the only one, but just remember if it takes uh, that, that level out, then it could also run because we are looking at 15.30, which is actually over this level, uh, from this level onwards all the way to 16, there's not much of a, a resistance. So uh, a big room for it to run if it breaks that 15.30s. So uh, keep that in mind. BEKE, still not very, very, um, it's, it's, you know, I can't say I see any gappers that I can do gap and go um, set up on. So unfortunately, um, if anything, it might be a fade-off setups, most of the gappers. So that's gappers. Uh, we'll come back to gappers in a minute. But um, my watch list is quite small today, guys. I'll come back to TBLT. Um, I want to explain what happened yesterday on the trading. Uh, DWAC also I'm keeping an eye on. As you know, guys, from these days, I've been keeping an eye on this. This can actually run when it does run. So um, on this one, I... I don't mind taking longs uh, over uh, VWAP, but then I would want to have uh, market open for that. Pre-market, I'm not going to touch this, but I'm waiting for the market to open. If it builds up some volume and it takes out that 2850, 2845s, then there is a, um, there's a trade there, I would say. Uh, that's DWAC. Uh, G... And GFI, basically, um, I think it might be done now. Um, I'll go back to it in a minute. I'll explain you why I kept it, because I need to explain the trade to you, and I need to get rid of that after that. BAKE is going towards that level we discussed. And Netflix. Netflix is just, as, you know, since that 214, 2, 2 215 bounce, it's just never, well, it did look back. Uh, beautifully to this area here, pulled back and then carried on. Um, I was mentioning this swing uh, for quite a few of you, uh, around 230s average, and um, it's just yeah, it was just if you had missed that, then you could have just waited for that pullback and then maybe on the break of the daily highs, uh, recent highs could have been an entry, but um, it's just all in hindsight. But uh, the the better entry was way before the breakout when it started to gain that traction so in Netflix I kept it because it's been moving quite a bit um, anything that moves like this um, does something decent yeah, it gives an opportunity so we are actually uh, I'm just going to quickly cover the others PDSP as well I want to keep it because it moved yesterday gapped up and it held its gap because of earnings so we might see some uh, actually I'm uh, you know uh, on this trade I am on uh, on a small small portion of the trade that I took yesterday. I'll explain in a minute. 
but um that is that i'm keeping it because it could uh, produce some more opportunities today although yesterday it didn't do much i was expecting way more than this but um it is what it is sometimes we get it on the second days APPS has been running a uh, decent since its uh, uh, earnings release. Uh, one, two, three days. Actually, third day is down. Yesterday, I was saying that, you know, I'm going to be looking for shorts on this one. Apps, ARRY, um, MGNI, all of them were looking uh, short. Actually, let me put MGNI. It might still be active today for possible shorts. Oh, let's have a look at MGNI. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is what I was uh, mentioning yesterday. You know, look, uh, today I'm looking for possible shorting opportunities, and uh, yeah, just beautiful. But uh, the volume really isn't there, so that's why I probably took it off because of that volume. So that's pretty much what the watch list is. Uh, not huge, it's still early to call, obviously, but um, um, I don't. To be honest, I don't see anything that makes me excited. Uh, apart from TBLT could produce something decent, which I still am in, tra in that trade. A uh, few trades actually from yesterday, I, I'll, I'll explain in a minute. Um, but uh, the rest of the watch list is very thin. Uh, so that tells me that, uh, you know, we got to take it easy, we got to take it slow and not rush things. However, having said that, um, SPY, SPY is moving, <laughs> okay? SPY is moving and it's uh, at that level, 39950 level, and it's kind of, it wants to take it out completely, no problem. Um, next level, I would say, is quite clearly 400, you know, there's no, there's no other level I see. Honestly, on SPY. So SPY is really, really strong, right? Um, we are actually attacking that 400. Typical of a SPY uptrend, guys. We will see some move up, some pull down, some move up, some pull down, and then, you know, strength carries on. So strength uh, overweighs the weakness. So whenever it's going to pull down uh, or, or do a retracement or a pullback, it's going to be minimal. And whenever it starts to move, e be it pre-market, post-market, it's going to be, you know, it's going to have some force behind it. So um, what, what we are seeing now is basically SPY carrying on with its main direction, which I believe uh, uptrend. So that's SPY. Uh, um, we are at that level. It wants to break and stay above that. We'll see what it does around 400 level. If this is the level to keep an eye on, 400. Big, 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 big level. So even pre-market, there might be some opportunities there if it reaches there today on pre-market. Um, so yeah, this this volume that came in, I don't know whether that is actually true volume. Okay, yep, that is actually, yeah. Okay, so let's see if we have anything else that's gapping up. Don't like that. There's no volume. There's no volume. AMC also is the one that's gapping up. Uh, it's gaining some traction uh, since its earnings release. Uh, but every time it starts to go a little bit and trying to sort of gain its losses, it just gets um, really heavily shorted. Uh, as you can see from yesterday, um, it actually gapped up really nice yesterday after a few days of a move. And it just completely died that day. So um, I really don't trust the gap up on it. I mean, it's just positive positivity behind the whole meme stocks anytime it starts gapping up it wants to go but obviously big money is pushing it down um, as it pops so we got to be careful with that uh, I might not trade it not very juicy setup I don't see anything good uh, but we'll see if I don't get any sort of um, 
like the feel for the pre-market trading i will not uh, i won't trade it i'll just sit back and relax and look at my things get things ready for the market open now if the market open is also very quiet then hopefully we will um, sit on our hands and, and not trade at all we don't really have to so that's uh, the deal guys and that's how i look at it today not very exciting as yesterday yesterday was quite exciting now let's go back to the trades i took and i still am, am in it uh, actually that tblt might have taken me out guys tblt actually tblt let me check Which trades am I in now? No, TBLT I exited, thank goodness. TBLT was an exit yesterday. Oh, I am on GFI though. Yeah, GFI and PDSP, I believe. Yeah, GFI and PDSP. Okay, let's look into that. And I was, I'm about to exit that as well. So, <clears throat> uh, So, 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 let me delete this guy. All right, I'll go through the, um, through the yesterday's trade that I kept for swing in a minute. Because I am watching something here that I don't want to miss. So SPY is moving, uh, Tesla is moving big time and it's gaining more momentum. So that's what I'm watching. Tesla breaks this level here um, and then does a little pullback to it and then now beautiful uh, micro pullback and then carries on. Rather nice clean setup. <coughs> but what else do we have? We have 195. We might have... We have that area, which is a small area. Yeah, that's all I see on Tesla. That's all I see. And on the SPY as well. Yes, 3.9. At this point, it's actually taking out that 3.9970 level. Right, right here, right now this level is getting taken out it's still in play yeah for sure but um it's, it's, it's kind of wants to take it out but um we're i'm waiting for this level maybe it's going to reject from it uh, nicely yeah it's fine looking into that um these levels um as long as i have it in the chart they are still in play if it does dip down towards these or goes up to those levels they will still be in play unless i remove them so from time to time, I will remove them if it's invalid. If the level is uh, not getting respected well enough, then I'll, I'll remove it. But a very interesting spy. It looks to be very strong. Let's have a look at the big names. If we, yeah, Netflix, we did have a look. Gap and up. Nicely three on nine level Netflix. Right here, three on nine level. Uh, AMD is also been very strong lately. Quite strong. Uh, it's coming back up from 60s, although it's 75s, uh, high of 75s. Now actually trading over 75. So quite a bit of a gap up, quite a bit of a strength. Uh, but I feel like there might have been a bit of an overextension here. So uh, thinking about longing this, might not be a good idea unless it actually does a nice little pullback retracement uh, you don't want to be chasing and entering at the very high of, uh, of a short-term move meta has also been uh, showing some strength but uh, meta i would uh, if i was going to short anything it'll probably be meta that's <laughs> that's pretty much it so uh, we'll see when spy actually gets to that 
400 level um, that's it's now rejecting from 39960 level so um, how far is the rejection coming in we don't know but if it does go to 400 then meta might be the uh, better option to trade short so uh, msft as well looks strong yeah msft not very interesting Amazon looks to be very strong as well, gapping up, done its pullback, and then now it's carrying on taking attacking the highs. Uh, it's already gone up very crucial level, which is 100, and it's staying over that. So that is a clear sign of strength. It just wants to rebound bigger, which is already done quite a bit. So now we are way over these daily levels. A strong level is 105. Yeah, which is quite a way to go. So I'll uh, keep an eye on uh, Amazon. Uh, I think this might also have the decent uh, opportunity to run. Uh, D I S Disney. Again, this Disney is uh, almost like uh, Meta. Uh, the daily chart is almost similar to Meta. So if anything, uh, if we see weakness in the market then uh, Meta and Disney is the one that I need to keep an eye on. Okay. So let me just write this down. Meta and Disney. Yeah, Apple seems to be quite strong as well. Broken yesterday's highs, 150 crucial level is breaking, uh, broken and uh, it's hold, holding above that. So clearly sign of strength. Uh, obviously, SPY has a lot to do with it, but um, you know, don't under underestimate the power of Apple, <laughs> Apple's move. Uh, because once it starts to move, it can actually pull the market with it, which seems like it might be doing right now quite strong over 150 level really really strong uh, yeah so those are the big names uh, let's have a look at Nvidia similar to N AMD Nvidia similar looking chart uh, strong gap and up holding a scap uh, relatively strong as well yeah one of the strongest I've seen today but Tesla probably, okay, there it goes, um, barely it reaches that level and then rejects from it. I believe SPY is also rejecting from my level. Where is it? Yeah, so one 39960 level. Yeah, 39960 level. That's where it's rejecting from. And it's done a, it's actually doing a bigger reversal. Uh, not re uh, It might not be reversal, but it's a bigger pullback. So we'll see how far this pullback goes on SPY. Interesting. So this 39960 level is still valid as you can clearly see that is still valid on on these levels you might see over and under that's fine it's it's just the way it works like sometimes it might go over and under as long as it's not actually trading over it uh, or breaking broken very strongly like for example this level although this is why i uh, this these level the gray ones are not very strong but the red ones are kind of like okay st strength. But if you see this bright red or bright orange, uh, then that's uh, quite a strong, strong area to keep an eye on. That's how I color coded from basically gray color, dim color, all the way to a brighter color being strong. So as you can see, yeah, the spy just. Uh, 
completely trying to sort of give back what is gaining. Um, I mean, from this move to that, that's also almost 38.2. Uh, if you do a Fibonacci retracement, maybe 23.8. While we're waiting, let's do that actually. So Fibonacci, it's been a while since I've used it. Retracement. Okay, here we go. So um, from the from the lows to uh, the highs, we've got 38.2, very close to 38.2 as you can see. Right? Um, so that is what I meant by retracement. Now, usually I don't really do it from the lows. I actually do it from where it started from, but uh, with the volume. So um, right here. So yeah, it's not much of a difference. Right, so. Uh, This, this level has been broken, so um, another level to keep an eye on is uh, just before the VWAP, right there. And it's not, it's not a big, big strong level. Uh, VWAP might be a better level than this, but still it's before, it comes before VWAP.
What's going on, OSS? How's it going? Um, no, I mean, there's no news. Well, there is news. You, you can see that, you know, um, we've got our PPI results are in. And apparently it's, it's, a, it's a good one. So that's why uh, you're seeing this this kind of move. Um, two takes out, uh, I mean, 400 was crucial level, right? It was crucial level. If there was no catalyst of uh, any economic news behind it, that 400 I was really watching uh, to be able to short from there or take advantage of it, basically. It just shot up and never, didn't even bother. So, um, you know, these levels, um, 400 definitely is in play for sure if it does um, you know obviously come down but i doubt that it's going to come down there now so we might have to find uh <clears throat> separate levels now i look at 199 bro. 199 on tesla just trading 194 Boom, everything else might be looking like that as well. Even the weakest, let's have a look at Meta. Uh, Meta was the weakest of them all, right? Let's have a look at Meta. Yeah, look, look at Meta. Went from 112s all the way to 11450. So everything is, no, sorry, 115 to 118. What was I looking at earlier? Yeah, so went from 115s boom shot up all the way to 118s very strong move hey um can you hear me oasis can you hear me Ooh, it's getting bought up though that level on Tesla is getting bought up. Yeah, this might this might go further. Dude, this might go further beyond this. Um sorry, no, I'm talking about meta. I'm talking about meta. As Tesla is very strong. And it's that 200 level, uh, that's a that's an important level to keep an eye on. But with this much strength, is it going to care? Um, let's see. What about SPY? Has SPY gone into a certain level? I don't think. Um, for 320s. Uh, not very strong though, not very strong now. Dude, this thing. We, on Tesla we are at 200 level, so um, if SPY starts to fade off, we might get some fade off on Tesla, but it's one of those that you are going against the whole momentum. But the uh, but the uh, you know potential for massive reward is also there. That's the issue with it. <laughs> it's it's one of those that it, it can really hurt you or really really treat you. But it's gonna it's gonna be very fast. So. Looking at ten. So what we have is right right here, four or two fifties is one level. Four or two fifties. Um right there. Is it gonna be dip bot? Uh dip bot back up, we'll see. Four or two fifties and then comes four or twos, not very strong, but then this area might be much stronger level. So 40250 if 40250 holds uh, we might have a 
Um, Oro one fifty. This area here, four oh four oh one fifty, is holding. Actually, it's holding. It's bouncing from it. Uh, so, we might see what was I gonna do. Micro um, pullback, break of trend line, could be an opportunity for going long, as long as this four oh two fifty holds. It's still holding, but it seems like it wants to get sold out. There's a lot of uh, a lot of trades happening there. Also, Tesla beautiful rejection from two hundred area. Beautiful rejection. This is still holding. That four hundred two fifty is still holding, guys. And if so, Well, we're talking about Tesla. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, within minutes, yeah, within minutes, absolutely. Look at this clean pullback on Tesla though. Look at this, this level, 200 level. And it just goes up parabolic to that level, touches it, and then big pullback. Um, that's probably 38.2. And then if it goes to, let's say, a VWAP, that'll probably be 50%. No, 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 I didn't, I didn't explain that. And I can't explain those things on the, on YouTube. There are certain things I need to keep, um, slightly, slightly private. I'm not going to lie, you know, um, it's not, it's not that I don't want to like share it, but it's, it's just going to hurt me more than help others. You know, the balance is just a little bit too, 
I always look at things risk to reward. What's the risk against the reward? The reward is there. Yes, you're helping people, but um, a lot of things that are free uh, are not appreciated in this world. Honestly, if I put a price on it, obviously that's when it's going to start to get appreciated. But even then, I don't want a lot of people um, obviously doing the, the same thing I do, which is going to go uh, against my trading style. It's, it's just going to hurt me. So, you know, um, but obviously for YB Elite, you know, um, it's, it's a completely different story. Uh, I share everything. Uh, I try now, obviously, that's my plan anyways, to get people to think and trade um, in a very stable manner so that actually I can benefit from their um, success. How do you ask? Well, you know, by being uh, in, the, in the group, you know, helping others and, you know, sort of uh, putting in more than what they can take, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, that's just a long distance sort of look uh, at the moment is, you know, it's just a bit uh, slow in that process. But, uh, you know, that's the whole thing. That's the whole uh, plan. Yeah, RR is life, man. For me, it is. I'm, I'm, you might think I'm like I'm joking around with RR. No, I don't. It's just part of my life now. Everything, everything is like calculated with RR, you know. If I want to go somewhere, what 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 do I gain from it, you know? And what do, what is the risk? But what what's the reward? Is it gonna outweigh the risk? Then I go, you know. <laughs> it's like um, I used to calculate these things not with R, but pros and cons. So I will write the list of things that I want to do. If I'm not sure, I'll write the pros to it and then the cons to it, and then just balance it out. If it, if one outweighs the other, then that's your answer. There's your answer. Um, which RR works the same way, risk to reward, you know. Look at this pullback to 198 area and everything. Beautiful, very clean moves I'm seeing on Tesla. Very clean moves. Um, not so much on uh, on SPY though. Not so much on SPY. SPY is weaker now and it's pulling down. Look at SPY go down. SPY is coming down. Do, do, do. Took out those levels. Beautiful. Yeah, it might not be a bad idea though. RR being on your uh, profile. RR is life, of course. If you can, uh, you know, if you can do that with your normal day-to-day -day life choices. Honestly, you, you will be way better off uh, a person, right? But you got to be honest with yourself, right? Like, for example, waking up early, very early, right? <laughs> you know, somebody who doesn't want to wake up early, they're just going to calculate it wrong. <laughs> That's exactly the same with trading as well. Like, when you do your... Um, journaling uh, if you like a setup or strategy you are normally biased towards it because you're a human being you want that setup to work uh, because you have some sort of a sentimental um, uh, or anything anything behind that that keeps you that strategy even though at the back of your mind you know that it doesn't have an edge right but you just keep using it why because you just have uh, attachment to it and we we don't like to be called um, we called out um, wrong. We always like to be right. <laughs> That's probably why as well. But um, let me have a look at the other. Uh, I don't see anything else that's popping. Uh, well, not really. Becky is the only one that's. But then again, volume is just completely dead on B B E K E. So, but spy is actually turning now. Spy is turning very nice. Very nice. This might be the um. Where is the spy man? Why does it jump like that? This might be the um. Another move to the upside attempt to take the highs out on spy
Okay, before the market start, I mean, there's some action going on here on SPY, definitely looking like uh, maybe even looking at Tesla right now um, for possible longs. Let me have a look at Tesla. Oh, Tesla is so clean, man. Tesla is so clean. Um, Tesla, I might actually start, guys. Let's see what it does around this area here, this level here. I need, I need this not to break, and I want this to be holding. The issue with this is. 198 is is there so 198 needs to break okay i'm gonna wait up on 198 to break guys um but there is an opportunity there i'm still early probably early on it um it might pull down towards 197 but if it takes 198 out i will i will go in with tesla All right, it might actually take out the low now. It might take out the low. I feel like it wants to do that. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, SPY is also dropping, so that's not going to hold. Uh, so longs are out of the question at the moment. And this is to be expected, honestly, from this kind of move all the way, um, trading at that close to the high. Um, I would rather have it pull back a little bit more, uh, which is doing now. So that's not such a bad thing. So uh, SPY finally broke 400 level, right? Finally broke this 400 level and we've got about, let's have a look. Not a very strong level, 40160. This area here, mm, not a very strong level, but I'll keep it just in case. There's huge. Um, yeah, that's why you wait, you know, like uh, with Tesla. Um, again, let's have a look at it. Quite clearly, this trend line was supposed to break, but yeah, when it did actually go over uh, 198, if it had gone over 198, the chances are that trend line would have broken. So over 198, one, trend line broken, two, massive move up, three, Quite a lot of excuses and reason for you to take longs um, if it had worked out so it never triggered never gave you it that's why you want to wait for the confirmation so I you know these kind of these kind of trades that didn't happen is actually a winner quite a decent winner because that would have been a loser if you had taken it already uh, very early so yes I am still green. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cover while it's playing out on the bounce of on the view app. We might see some sort of a decent bounce coming in. Uh, obviously, um, 
SPY is bouncing a little bit, Tesla not so much, so Tesla starts to look a bit weaker now. But um, Tesla, um, SPY is definitely bouncing off of the lows, uh, sorry, VWAP. No, it's not on the VWAP, sorry, this level here. So this level started to hold 4150 basically. So it bounced from here, but Tesla is not bouncing enough from the VWAP, which is supposed to be a bigger level. Interesting. I'll be back guys.
What's going on, Zell? What's up, buddy? Um, are you watching anything, Zell? Okay, these are the ones I have. Mostly earnings gappers. Yeah, Q and uh, Q H and Peggy. <clears throat> this is also earnings based, I think, Peggy era. Peggy might be better than QH. Yeah, this is also earnings QH. Both both are okay, I think. QH and Peggy. AZTA also is earnings, but bigger price stock. Uh, I don't like the um, the volume, but a uh, QH and Peggy has b better volume definitely. SE as well is a uh, bigger price, just over uh, fifty. Uh, yeah, it's still earnings earnings uh, gap up. Just keep an eye on those two. QH and P Peggy is a small price stock, so pretty much uh, everybody could uh, trade it. Both looks okay. Could be volume could be better. Volume is coming in now, by the way. Oh. 
what do we get? Q, H, and Peggy is definitely worth a keep. Worth a, worth a watch. Peggy looks interesting now. Big numbers on 318, not huge, but big numbers compared to uh, bids. 318 needs to thin out for me to take it. Three eighteen, um, three eighteen got in a little bit, not a lot. Three eighteen on PEGY long. Uh, just the stop is going to be under three, around three. That breakout was a little bit too um, too quick. I just gotta get, give it some time at this point because there's, you know, it can't chop around like this, so uh, you can't really rely on too much on the, you know. Uh, momentum there's no momentum yet but uh, once the momentum starts to come in uh, sometimes you don't get a chance so This level here, 320, is um, kind of uh, an area to keep an eye on. Just dabbling in some. If it starts to create some momentum to the upside, uh, I can always add.
230 break on QH would not be a bad idea as well. But uh, that volume needs to come in on that. <clears throat> 231 needs to break though. So uh, QH is also interesting. What's SPY doing? Yeah, it's drifting down from 40350s and just coming down, just chopping around overall week uh, as it stands. We're in this level here now. Uh, Q is just fading off. Uh, Q is just taking the recent lows out. 213. Low price stock still for me. Uh, at least P E G Y is over 3. <coughs> There goes your spy to the VWAP. Oh, yeah, war, man, war.
When is it going to end? Never, right? It's just normal people s suffer from. All readers meeting a G20 and uh, this attack. Uh, Tesla might also be turning around, uh, done his pullback maybe, um, going for another run, is there a possibility, yes there might be, Tesla, um, market is not open yet so I'm just going to wait up for the market open, today as I said you know there's not much anything special to be honest, uh, I do have a good list of watch lists but just nothing to really sort of get excited about. Oh, by the way, let me just uh, post this on a Discord. I'm too close to the open. I've uh, closed the PEGY for a break even almost, just a little bit lower. A small loser basically on PEGY. Uh, a very, very tiny, just a starter really. There's no point in taking any anymore. Uh, I was looking at Tesla as well for possible, maybe longs, but too close to the open now.
Tesla really looking like a Gotta be patient. Looks like it's gonna be a slow day for me, guys. This whole Russia and Ukraine thing is not a joke. Like, it's, um, it's I think it can escalate to a rather very nasty uh, mess if they don't really sort of do something about it I think it's just uh, the west against the um, the east I guess yeah hopefully you know Sometimes when you don't have good things running for in the pre-market, you do tend to get some decent runners uh, after the market opens. <clears throat> so hopefully that's the case. Otherwise, it's been a really slow pre-market day for me. But the good thing is I didn't rush into any trade. I didn't take... The only trade I took was PEGY, which was just basically break-even, almost. So not not too worried about it. Happy with what I did, but it's just like it's, it's difficult, right? It's like every at least half an hour, there's got to be one trade, right? I'm just gonna listen to some uh, music. So Mark is about to open in about two minutes. Uh, not really, no. Everything is just uh, waiting, waiting, waiting. Um, it was, um, you know, f uh, from the PPI move, we, we had this. Uh, PPI releases, we had this, and that was it. And now we're going into that uh, choppy price action, especially right at the open. Uh, it's just going to be choppy. So I'm just going to keep SPY here just in case if it starts to move because we did have that initial uh, strong move from the PPI release uh, so we might see some sort of a continuation coming in I'm, I'm just looking to watch this trend line break but even then that's not very um, it's too early uh, to the open so I might as well wait for like five to ten minutes let it open let it do its thing and see where it goes Uh, still drifting, SPY is still drifting, and as well as Tesla is coming down big, coming down to these levels, 190, 196, takes it out without any problem, 195, 80s, 70s, no problem. Look, 
much weaker than uh, Spy. Still watching anything interesting. Just about to open now. Kiev attacked as war readers meet at G20. I feel the for for the people, man. It's just families have been divided lives have been completely ruined just because you know I'm trying to all right here we go guys best of luck Do -do -do. Okay, Peggy is picking herself up with some volume, P-E-G-Y. And Tesla has just rebounded, took out that 197. Is this the second continuation? Could be. What's our spy doing? So the spy has also taken out that uh, trend line. Anything else I see? AMC is looking weak. So AMC. AMC usually could be really, really choppy though, right at the open especially, so. But I wanna take a short stab at it. Um, took a quick one guys on this one uh, 770 is the average 770 short it's, I know it's early I don't usually take this early but um, I feel like uh, there's some weakness coming into uh, AMC and I was watching this for some uh, weakness for the last two days so hopefully today is the day actually yesterday was quite weak so Yesterday might have been the day, but still we are under some decent levels. So, um, you know, with this one, you can even like look back at high of day uh, being as your stop. That's what I'm going to do as well. And um, yeah, 
yeah looks interesting yeah looks good uh, I, I need this to be breaking 760s so that'd be nice of AMC to break that please There we go, MC. Come on, buddy. Yeah, Peggy, I see that. I missed on it, uh, unfortunately, but still, there's, uh, yeah, you can actually take it now. But you gotta be quick though with this one. If it starts to reject, you gotta be quick, yeah? Uh, it needs to run quickly now. I've done a chase size a little bit, 322, I think. QH is not bad as well. QH is about to turn, I think, if this two holds, this might be the bounce on it. Uh, PEGY, uh, what did I say, 322, yeah, PEGY 322 long. Um, there it goes. There it goes, 322, 332, 10 cents, quite a bit of a move, yeah. There we go, there we go, All right, the four, 340s, 340s is the partial, it's, it's so quick guys, um, it could still uh, move a little bit more than, uh, there's quite a lot of potential on this one guys, so I think I'm going to be patient with it, so 322 long, uh, 340 is the first partial, but I'll let it run, because it wants to take out the highs, let's see if it's anything there. 45s are not giving back. 45s are getting thinned out. Yeah, it should take it out, yeah. Briefly, we saw 346, but um, it just didn't stay there, though. What's our business? A lot of reds coming in. My AMC is doing really well as well. As I said, never say never, guys. Took your profit or shall I take my profit, Zell? So? Uh, I did, yeah, 340. Partial doubt, partial doubt 340, which is not bad, but I still have um, some to run with it. So in case if it starts to Run. These ones can run, um, especially, um, you know, it looks strong. It looks strong. Look at 349s getting hit, 350 getting hit, thinning out, 51s, no problems. There you go. You see? Okay, so our AMC is doing really well as well. Uh, looking for partial on AMC. Uh, my starting point on AMC was 770. Now it's trading at 750. I could do with a bit of a bit of a partial here. Uh, what did I get? 340, 348. Another partial, guys. 348 on PEGY. Uh, I believe 348, yeah, here. So, <clears throat> relax. Mm. 
very easy trade. Uh, 350 has huge, um, huge level, obviously this level here, we got to pay attention to that. That's why I took it to two of those. So we're going to make sure that this actually takes out. Um, if it doesn't take this out, then we might see bigger pullback. That's why I took the second partial, um, which is definitely the right way to do it. There it goes, it's taking that tie out, PEGY. I mean, if I think this might be it, guys. I only trade two trades and that's it. And look at my AMC. Let's go, baby. Let's go, let's go, PEGY. Took some more out 362s. And I just need, don't need to worry about this now. I'm gonna let it run. Uh, I'm done with it. Uh, so my partial, sorry, my stop on the remaining bit is gonna be following the VWAP, as you know, guys. So now if it does go parabolic, I'll take everything off. Um, when I say parabolic, it's, it goes from, let's say 370s all the way to maybe fours within seconds so I'll take everything off otherwise I'm just gonna keep with it and AMC let's look at, at our AMC I'm on fire today guys AMC basically uh, doing really well beautiful 747 So I took some out, 748. Uh, I really wanted to take some more out at the lows. 748's here. Okay, so. Um, two trades, two winners. Worst case scenario now, I'm going to have uh, the remaining partial uh, that's remaining on PEGY, which is barely anything um, that's going to be taken out on break even on AMC as well worst case scenario slightly over uh, um, break even so really really good position to be in Anybody took this uh, PGY Zell? Did you manage to take it? So that's my AMC one partial out. Really nice. Uh, let's go back to PEGY. PGY looking a decent. Uh, dude, to pull back, pull back to three fifty. This is holding as well. So. DWAC was a nice setup there. GFI, my GFI is doing okay. Where's my GFI? Yeah, I'm still in it, right? Yeah. Yeah, always is. Yeah, definitely. But take it easy, man. Don't worry about like making anything. Worry about um, finding good trades. Uh, worry. It's, it's, it's just like I know it's hard to do, but think of it as like a a game that you like. Uh, it, be it poker game, blackjack, or any other games. It's just think about the objective. Objective is to basically have a really great game, right? 
sometimes you actually trade really well by even losing. If you come to that sort of mentality, um, that's where you want to be. Um, so try to take that dollar sign out of um, any of your sort of uh, anything to do with trading. Just take it out. That's why I remove that completely from my trading platform so that I don't even see it. Now, that means I have to calculate it, yes, but most of the time my calculations are uh, very close to the actual. So, yeah, I, I, you know, I really want you to be in on these kind of trades, obviously. Um, this, by the way, you would have tra been able to trade. I actually am trading on uh, uh, TFS on this one, so... Is there AMC beautiful? Yeah, I mean, even now, uh, there could be yeah, an ad point here, um, but um, let's have a look at actually that, that thing. It's not a bad ad area here right now, it's not so bad. Uh, this thing is trying to go maybe i'll add t here at the break of 360 maybe even just before that um, actually you know what i'm just gonna wait up for 360s uh 360s to break because um that? yeah you see that rejection coming in from 360s yeah that's why i wanted to wait uh, i want that 360 to get taken out and then I'll add to it. Um, I've added a little bit on AMC as well. I know it's, I'm not looking for huge runs on this, but um, still I can afford to add it without risking my earlier entry. So I believe 3757, somewhere there. Yeah, somewhere there, um, not a lot, just uh, my average is still higher, close to the view up, so perfectly fine. I've already taken profit from it, so uh, great, great position to be in. Okay, let's have a look. What's up, darkness? How's it going, buddy? Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Welcome back, buddy. We missed you. Where have you been? I mean, this one doesn't look good. This might look uh, for a big, bigger pullback on uh, PEGY. So I wouldn't want it to be going under 350. But then again, the trade's already done on this one. So now I'm just having a runner on it. I don't need to worry about too much. My AMC, AMC is doing really well as well. I just needed to take that low out. That's it. Uh, if it takes that low out, we might see some more fade off coming in on AMC, which is looking great. Okay, so PEGY is holding off nicely. So, um, yeah, I'm uh, quite comfortable with that trade. In fact, there might be an ad point. PEGY.
Oh, look at that rug pull. Almost rug pull, right? Could be a rug pull. Careful, guys. PZY. That rejection is no good. But then the bounce is coming as well. PGY. But my I'm watching AMC because I'm mostly done on PGY. Um, I don't mind adding if this holds uh, like this. I'm, I don't mind adding to it on PGY. But I'm not going to add too much. Uh, just about here looks all right actually. Why not? 358. Okay, so I um, added a little bit on PGY. Hope I'm not going to regret that, but it's not something that I'm going to regret. Uh, the ad is not too much. Uh, I've taken quite a lot from it, so just want to make sure that I have a little bit running if, I ha if this starts to run. So uh, beautiful, beautiful trade. I would like it to be staying over the highs now. I'm not asking for too much, right? But if it does break that low um, low of this wick, i.e. Uh, VWAP breaks, then I'll get out of it <coughs> for the remainder of the position. Just a bit of chop, getting into that chop here. And AMC is not taking the lows out, so. Um we just have VWAP. VWAP needs to break for me to get out of it. AMC. The darkness just came in and said hello and that's it that was it he just went what happened to him is he okay what's up darkness what happened to you buddy you didn't like my face you were disappointed dude i don't know what that means but i'll take it There was a great opportunity on uh, Tesla pre-market uh, if you were watching around that 200 level uh, darkness. You, I know you trade uh, Tesla. Beautiful opportunity. There was a huge level there. It uh, went parabolic towards that level and just completely rejected. Very nice and clean. Um, yeah, that would have been a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
Um, PEGY is still fighting. Um, again, it is, what is the volume like at this point? 21 million has, yeah. I'm pretty sure double rotation on the float. So um, it's, it's gonna get crowded and everything. So just, um, the good thing is I don't have a lot on it. Um, if I did have a lot, I would have load, uh, unloaded quite a lot. Um, I just cannot risk uh, this kind of price action if I had like, let's say more than 50%. Uh, so I'm quite comfortable with the trade. I'm letting it run, letting it chop around, do its thing. As long as it holds, um, remember it is a gapper from earnings, right? And we have that continuation. So we wanna give it enough chance to work out. And these things usually run uh, throughout the whole day. So if that's the case, we might have uh, we might as well have a runner, right? With it. Um, sometimes, you know, like when, um, like let's, let me give you an example. Um, imagine you're watching UFC, right? And there's two uh, great fighters fighting. It's enjoyment. It's like you enjoy it yourself. You know what's going on. Um, you can see the moves and everything, right? But let's just say 10, 10 people go in and start fighting, right? What happens then? It just becomes confusion, right? Um, it just doesn't look very interesting. It doesn't go anywhere, right? Uh, when it comes to professionalism, uh, Maybe I'm not explaining it properly, but uh, you get the idea, right? So, you know, when stock goes, uh, gets a bit too much volume, it's very difficult for it to move. How does the stock move? Well, if there is a void on the other side, when the other side gives up, that's when the stock really moves, right? Um, but in our crowded scenarios, that's not going to happen because as soon as you go break out certain levels, there are people waiting for you on the other side. So that's what I mean by overcrowded. Um, and, and for it to actually break out of over, or like when it's overcrowded like this, it's not hugely overcrowded, but I've seen more, but this definitely is overcrowded. If it breaks it, it has to break with huge volume, right? Like these volumes aren't enough for it. This, this, is, this is now just a normal volume, this. It has to be much bigger than, 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 than your average here. So hopefully that's the case later on. Um, yeah, well, you don't need to look at the level two for it to be overcrowded. Um, look at the uh, float, I believe, is about uh, the outstanding shares is about 9 million on this PEGY, right? Which, could, which might be over, you know, more or less um, 8, 9, 10, right? The volume is done is 22. So double rotation of the float, right? So that in itself is like, oh, okay, it's double rotated um, and uh, it could be crowded. Yeah, it's the volume. Volume tells you uh, compared to the uh, the float or the shares outstanding. You can you can compare them both. They're pretty much similar, anyways. How about to get out of AMC for the remainder uh, if it does break that view up and holds above it? Tesla is moving, guys. It's break on the high of day. And uh, also SPY is trying to go for it as well. Um, what I see on TESTA is about 199 level um, and maybe 198 levels on TESLA. So 199 is broken already, sorry. 199 and 200, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Um, 200, definitely it's actually rejected from there. Now it's going back up to there. Let me show you the chart. 
so this is the level we were watching earlier it actually touched that level and then just completely collapsed from there pre-market now it's coming back to that level again 99 199 had some sort of a resistance but it actually broke that and then pulled back to it and carried on so it might actually go towards that 200 see what happens <clears throat> Out of PAGY, out of PAGY, and out of, uh, uh, what's the name, AMT. So both trades uh, worked out uh, really well. Uh, let's see, AMT is uh, here. Usually I don't take, I don't take it right at the view up. I'll wait for it to actually close above it, but it just wasn't going anywhere, so that's fine. Um, and it was building some volume, so I don't want to hold on to it. Plus PEGY as well, I'm out. Uh, but that's just a, you know, what do you call that? Um, just a runner uh, right here somewhere. Let me just. Um, yeah, I just gave up a little bit on it. I wanted to exit here. I couldn't. 345s. Um, I just couldn't. But that's fine. If only, f what, 5 cents? Oh, great exit on the AMC, by the way. Look at the exit. Beautiful. Just that volume was building up, and it's just like pretty much double bottom reversal here happening. Um, this actually is just it's a long setup. So on AMC, we... I mean, even if AMC starts to like move, I don't think it's gonna go much farther uh, beyond the high of day, I believe. But I don't wanna say never because you could always do that. Yeah, I mean, it was a good trade. Don't get me wrong. It was a really nice trade. I've taken quite a bit, actually, very close to the highs, uh, usually on my second partial. I just that a little bit add, but that didn't affect me because I was still on uh, on average winning on it on the last, par last portion. So really good trade. AMC was kind of like meh, you know, like 50-50 break even kind of thing. What on uh, on PGY? Yeah, PG one uh, later down the line got uh, crowded. That's why it just crowded. It's just gonna chop you around. Um, short longs both are gonna chopped up big time on it. Yeah, I mean. Um, Darkness, I've been saying this for the last week or so. We are looking in the market. We might be looking in the, uh, in, in the, at the bottom of the market, uh, whereby we actually bounce bigger or actually reversal on the market. So um, if you look at uh, SPY, um, if you look at the daily, I can actually ex maximize this. So... Um, SPY basically, uh, let's go into not long term, but medium term, medium term, short, um, in a downtrend, right? But then, um, every time we had these sort of patterns, like, uh, very close to double bottom, triple bottom, uh, head and shoulder patterns, it, um, look at the move, like, uh, this amount of move is very similar to this amount. Look at this, look at that. Look at that. It does uh, ma uh, make a huge bounce or it does bounce big. But this time around, I think um, it's a reversal. I think it's a reversal. Uh, so we'll have to find out still. But uh, I've been saying that since this day here when it was actually all were almost forming the, um, uh, the head and shoulder. I still stand by it. So there we go. Yeah, very, very, very. Uh, Tesla was one of the strongest one I was watching earlier. Um, 
we were also watching, but we're not seeing any weakness on the on the spy, so we're not looking for shorts. Uh, but yeah, definitely Tesla is looking to be one of the strongest. Yeah, my GFI trade got taken out. My GFI trade got taken out. And I'm still on PDSB from uh, yesterday. PDSB from yesterday. And I want to go through what I did yesterday. Um, just quickly update you before I go. Um, because we did take uh, some trades, but left it uh, unfinished. So I was going to update you on that. Uh, Um, darkness, to be honest, that has been going on for the past two years, you know. Uh, it's not something new, but uh, it might be going on um, a little bit more extreme recently. You're right. Tesla at 200, guys. Tesla at 200, and it wants to take that out. No, sorry, it's already taken it out. Kinda. Kinda is, is, is still above that, though. So I would say it's taken it out, and it wants to go further beyond that looking uh, really good look at this level um, over here look at the respect on the level over here breaks it pulls back to it and then wants to go now yeah quite strong quite quite strong so let me go through the um, the trades that was uh, actually held no TBLT was I believe I closed it yesterday before the close because I could not trust this this massive move if it had done less than this, I would have kept it. Uh, but let me show you what I did. Yeah, I closed it just before. So yesterday, um, they started to gap up, uh, I believe because of earnings, I believe. And it started to move. Um, I did catch it really late. This is late for me, guys. I usually catch it right at the beginning here, or at least the second one. But the third one, I'm kind of iffy. But then nevertheless, we caught it because... Uh, it was still there, the setup was there, it was just acting the right way. Uh, tight stop as well, it wasn't that huge. And then partial out, partial out, partial out later on after the stream. And then I mentioned that I was going to trail the stop but with the VWAP, right? Look at this trade, guys. Um, and you ask me why I actually let things run and sometimes it gets back, it gets me back. Um, instead of taking small winner, you could have, uh, I have a small loser or break even. This is exactly why, right? Let's say, for example, my, my, my stop was here under the swing lows, right? Or it could be slightly lower. If I take this, that's one to one, right? If, if I take that one to one, yes, I might have bigger lo winners, but my average on this trade is here, guys. Here. I would never achieve that. I would never achieve this 5 hours, 6 hours, 10 hours if I uh, don't give that trade a chance. And most of the trades I look for is, as I said before as well, has the opportunity, is the chance to actually go for multiple hours, which it did. That's the final exit. Beautiful. I normally keep this with the VWAP, but the problem was with this one, look at the move. We're talking from uh, two, 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 that's more than 100%, almost 100%, I think. I got my calculations wrong. Yeah, just less than 100% move. Usually with that, you get a gap down. Okay, you, you get a gap down, which I was anticipating. So uh, we did get a gap down. Post-market was okay, but pre-market started gapping down. So I was glad I was out on it. A very, very nice trade. Uh, we had PDSB. <clears throat> PDSB, I'm still in it, by the way, uh, from yesterday. Okay, so PDSP first, uh, loser, small, short, loser. I shouldn't have taken that. That's my bad. I, I, I shorted right into the into my support, uh, which was calculated from before. It bounced from it quite a few times. 
Um, and yeah, that should just shouldn't have happened. But nevertheless, it happened. Small loser. But I, this was lucky in a way, uh, because I was mentioning pre-market, I was watching the seven level, okay? The seven level, as it was going to sevens and it wasn't taking it out. It was just failing off of it, failing off of it. But then once it starts to get back to those levels and starts attacking it, it usually f uh, goes with, with some force if there is volume in it. Now, I kept my orders there, stop limit orders, and it got triggered. So it, as it started washing down, I was saying, okay, now I, I'm in it. I'm just not going to like take it out. It washed down very quickly. And then uh, I just left my stop at the lows of this week. So I just kept it and uh, managed to get something out here a little bit. And uh, um, because it was acting the way I wanted to act, um, not much of a huge run, but then VWAP was holding, so um, I kept it. And uh, today it opens, doesn't even break the law of the um, VWAP uh, on the previous day. No, the, the close, sorry, and the close, it doesn't break that. Seven was crucial level for me, so I started chasing the seven with the stop loss. And um, it's still in it though. I took some out actually uh, just a while ago. Believe, yeah. So, yeah, somewhere, somewhere there, I took some out, but I'm still in it for to win it basically. Now, if it does take me out on the on the trail, oh, there it goes again. There it goes. Beautiful. This has potential, guys. Look, look at that. Oh, we. Um, yeah, 792, 792, I took more out here. Um, guys, I'm kind of done. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was the... <laughs> PDSP Zell, let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> you and me bo both <clears throat> obviously I have to uh, I have to control myself um, because of the stream and all but uh, it's sometimes it's kind of hard uh, that's why you take out some especially on the parabolic you want to take out some definitely definitely you want to take out so I don't have a lot on it uh, I would say probably about less than 20 percent less than 20 percent if i get the chance to add to it maybe in the next day or so uh, remember this was a swing and it i will swing this for as long as it's actually valid for swing idea so that is a great one um sometimes yes uh, uh yeah i do uh it's it's kind of like not investment i would say it's swing slash investment i would say Netflix is the one I was mentioning way before it was um, bouncing. That's the only one I am still holding. The, I barely hold anything uh, longer than uh, two, three weeks. I think maximum I hold, held was about three months. So, yeah, but, but I love swinging it. If there are criteria that's met, I love swinging strong stocks. And usually they are really, really like very... Um, um, high uh, profit yielding uh, stocks uh, or trades so something like this for example yesterday it didn't do anything but it was still meeting the criteria it was not doing anything um, but today is the day that and in fact yesterday I was mentioning about the specific PDSP I said look guys today it might not move but second day if it still holds strong if it still holds this gap it might we might be get some move on it so that's what we received on that now gfi 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 i got uh, i exited right at the market open um, because on my platform as one of my platform i can't trade the pre-market so as soon as it opened uh, here i believe 
11 18 11 18 was my exit final exit from yesterday's trade which is in line with my stop here uh with the with the view app right so the trade took around 11 14 15s exit i think i exited a, another one here somewhere at not there but somewhere here because i saw that it was struggling around that but anyways it was a really good successful trade i wanted to swing it but i exited right there uh, because i kept my stop very very tight on this one actually i might have exited here yeah so it took me out here <clears throat> Yeah, I'm, I'm always, uh, I was always used to using the trading journal softwares. It's very easy, very, um, like, um, I'm just used to it uh, so much that I can't even think of uh, any other choices. Can't take, uh, like, for example, people have actually done really good work on Excel. Personally speaking, I just don't have the time for it. And I'm not very Excel savvy. Some people are really good with it. I just... I'm not good with it. So if you can, um, you can actually create a really, really sort of um, very complex Excel spreadsheet that calculates pretty much everything that TradeViz uh, or TraderView calculates. But it's more of a service. TraderView and TradeViz is more of a service. It's more visual. Um, you can do a lot, of, a lot of things without having to worry about, oh, I need to set this up I need to set this formula and that formula so I just don't have time for that so I'd rather pay 20 30 quid a month just to be um, be able to have peace of mind on this especially on the journaling section uh, of the trading I don't want tr uh, trouble <laughs> I stay away from trouble yeah <clears throat> PDSP, you know what, I want to trade more of it, but then, you know, sometimes you say to yourself, um, enough is enough. <laughs> because um, I, I see the strength coming into it. It looks very nice, yes, but I've taken a lot from it. Look at that, it's, it's going to take out the highs. Yeah, there it goes, eight's taken out. So um, if you've taken it again, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> so the question is uh, for my remainder of 20% that I have on it, maybe even less than that, is it gonna hold today as well? Hopefully it does. And if it does, I'll update you tomorrow guys on PDSB. That was uh, the, 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 the two or three trades that I didn't uh, finish at the stream. That's the update for the trades. The rest is... Uh History. Two trades taken today. AMC was kind of like a break even. Uh, I at, at one point it was looking very nice, juicy, but it didn't. Uh, but the other one, my little one is uh, not happy about something. Uh, Peggy. Peggy was a really decent uh, mover as well. Um, Three twenty two was the entry. Uh, I, I believe very tight risk. Uh, 310, I think, maybe three or fives, maybe under lows. But anyways, um, really nice entry, exit, 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 uh, added. However, this ad didn't, ad was very small. By the way, when I add is partial, whenever I partial these, that's the ad, one of the ads basically. So my average is still lower. And then final exit was here, still a winner, clearly a decent winner. So... Um, yeah, not bad, not too shabby at all. Yeah, that's, uh, I read uh, about the 
you know, putting a different type of journaling about your emotions and everything. Yes, that is something you want to also, you know, you can do that with the trade with and trader view. Just put it on the notes. There is one, two things about it. One is basically tags. The other one is notes. Uh, so on the notes, you can always put certain criteria, you know, how are you feeling, your health, personally speaking, uh, what sort of state of mind were you in, this and that, you know. You can record those on that as well. But if you want to record separately, great. Whatever works for you guys. As long as you're doing the work, man. That's 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 the most important one. PEGY, by the way, is looking good for another long here. If volume picks up. PEGY. PEGY. Awesome. That's the thing, guys. You know, like, look, uh, working uh, together, helping each other, each other out. I mean... That's, that's great to see. Awesome stuff, guys. Zom and CVX, um, two stocks that did great this year. Z O M. I s did I see this? For these, we need to go to our daily chart. Beautiful. Yep, beautiful growth stock. Loving it. Yep, I agree. CVX, definitely I traded. CVX, I, I remember I traded quite a few times, but mostly uh, I think swing or day trades. Yeah, they did really well. Even here you can see I, I, I traded CVX last December as well. Uh, I forgot to take off the markers on it. Yeah, it looks like a really decent um, daily chart. Um, it might not be a bad time. Spice, by the way, uh, coming um, not too down, but um, it's coming up to that 400 level again. Uh, and it's trying to attack the lows. Is that going to bring weakness? But remember, SPY is still up quite a lot. And that 400 level is, is a level that has held before and is still holding. The question is, is it going to still keep on holding? Uh, what I was saying before I go is uh, Oasis, um, you know, November normally is a good month to start um, there's a there's a con to that there's a flip side to it if you do well in november right uh, usually what happens is you get overconfident and uh, you just start to ri raise the thingy the risk that's when it goes wrong in december so november can be very deadly but be careful keep that in mind that if you do have a good uh, november just keep it up until like uh, quite a few months next year, February at least, let things see all the sort of uh, market structure uh, that goes through uh, between the holidays. So, um, yeah, that's what I was going to say. And also, yeah, you got to have uh, that respect of your uh, one person, whatever you're risking um, per trade. Yeah, um, when when this uh, whole thing started, there was a lot of other opportunities as well. Uh, darkness, uh, uh, mostly about uh, energy stocks. I did mention this. Uh, you know, you can even go back to the stream just before the after the war um, ignited. Um, I was saying, look, guys, you know, this whole thing is going to bring huge sort of um, demand for the energy, uh, crude oil, and everything. So anything to relate to those. You can uh, try to do your research a little bit. I, I did take quite a lot of energy-based swing trades then, but I just didn't want to mention it because this is purely day trading uh, stream. I don't want to get two, two of them confused. Sometimes I'll blabber it out, 
but uh, most cases I hold off saying those things because um, I don't want people to go in without doing their due diligence, um, you know, doing their work, especially for the investment. For trading, I can explain like what my thought process is, right? But for investment, there's a lot of things go behind, you know. Um, if I'm investing 1% of my uh, in, uh, portfolio or 10% of it, somebody might invest 100% of it. Um, it's very, very risky to be calling out your investment uh, on, on live stream, which I'll never do. Um, I'll give you maybe a hint, <laughs> but never call out my investments. So, <clears throat> OP is UI is gone. I, I wasn't really watching it. Uh, yeah, so P is UI is done, dusted. Yeah, that's that's gone over here. I thought it was going to break that 350. If it had broken that 350, uh, probably would have gone a little bit more. But um, it actually completely failed. It actually didn't go to 350. 349 was the highest it actually achieved. So, um, yeah, definitely um, weight would have been nice on that one. Uh, look at. Um, this this trade, this is the one I am a bit disappointed in myself uh, for the past three, four days. I took this trade on this day, and I believe I took this trade on this day. Usually with these scenarios, I will keep holding on to these trades. The problem with that trade was we I had uh, what's called... Um, the triple S scenario, um, what is it called? Triple S uh, symptom or whatever you want to call it, like small share size syndrome. <laughs> so whenever I don't have enough of a position, I tend to just, I don't know. I mean, I, I just don't, don't tend to do well with that, with that trade. But the idea was with this one, because it was earnings gap up and, um, usually uh, when the first day ends up closing like this, we get the second day continuation, at least second day continuation, right? To hold it from first day to second at least, or even third, right? Look at it go, right? But I just chickened out on it. I've got to be honest. It was small share size. I spent more time on Airy. This is the day I traded it. Look at, look at that. Look at that move. And look at the second day move. I didn't capitalize on it. This is the one I really gets me. But I capitalized on ARRY. That's the one it didn't do that well. It didn't really move that well. Instead of uh, concentrating. Um, as you can see, it did really move nicely, but it just chopped around later. So yeah, that APPS is going really, really strong. <coughs> B E K E B E K E not much of a volume what's the volume on it uh not liking the volume but that might also be a good thing for it to actually start uh, creating some sort of a force to the upside but I'm done trading <clears throat> yeah yeah, you've got to be able to. I, I don't normally sort of dabble into those. Uh, it's not me. I've never actually went into. Uh, but I have quite a few friends that actually purely does bonds and treasuries. There's so many, so many things you can do if you know what you're doing. And if you have got a plan, game plan, and you stick to it, and you've got that. Um, kind of like you, you've got to have that edge isn't it like you, if you have that edge there's so many opportunities guys and, and it depends also what you like like some people are really good bond no, like um, have you heard of like spread traders spread traders right it's more like forex right where you have pair GBP against US dollar. You're not just trading one currency. You're trading two, um, two currencies, 
right? The spread of it. Exactly the same way they used to trade pretty much everything, especially the bonds, uh, European and anything. So they were just trading it um, full time. They trade, scalped the hell out of that. And they did really well. I just couldn't get myself to do it. I just couldn't understand. Maybe I need more time, but I'm happy with this. Yeah, TLT. Uh, I do look at that uh, once in a while. But for them to uh, start curling up, it, it will require some time. Uh, so that's what I'm going to wait for. Seems like it's disconnected. Yeah, I think it might have been disconnected, guys. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much end of the day for me. Uh, really good day for us in the stream. <coughs> Took some decent trades and followed suit with the trades that we were running from yesterday. Um, that's pretty much it guys I'll see you tomorrow at 8am EST until then take it easy stay safe out there cheers <laughs> I was just about to go see ya see ya Zil I was about to go man um, anyways there's not much else to talk about uh, I had um, yeah see ya darkness I was saying earlier darkness welcome back uh, tune in again and hope you've been alright I'll catch up with you tomorrow with darkness if you do uh, turn up alright guys take it easy guys see ya